myself with all the members of Congress from California and the senators uh, have all signed a letter to the president to expedite this process and hope that uh, he does his disaster assistance as quickly as possible. Congressman David Valadeo toured a dairy farm affected by the recent flooding in Hanford today. By his side, several local dairy farmers who talked about the struggles they're facing and will face in the coming months and even years as a result of all this water. Fox 26 News reporter Myra Franco joined them on that tour and shares their plea to President Biden tonight. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. The wall moves. Congressman David Valadeo arrived at California Dairy Farms in Hanford Friday to witness firsthand the damage the storms left behind. With him, local farmers living through the disaster. I personally got to help my brother-in-law, uh, was evacuated, spent three days moving a couple thousand cows out. Um, they're still not in their homes. We had to move nearly 7,000 animals uh, within three days. We over 200 loads of hay and most of our grain inventories were moved off the yard. The major flooding was caused by a levee that broke. One home was completely uh, submerged. Uh, another one is right on the edge of uh, flooding today. Um, had to lay off nine people this week. Not easy. But the farming community took swift action to help. That action, experts say, saved the Corcoran Irrigation District, reservoirs, and communities in Corcoran from overwhelming flooding. They dug a ditch to cut off the uncontrollable runoff from the canal and redirected it. In two days, they created this diversion that leads straight to Cross Creek. They had to think of a fast and quick solution as the water was flowing three times faster than usual by passing the capacity Lakeland Canal can hold. Valadeo and the farming community are now calling upon President Joe Biden to quickly approve the major disaster declaration brought forward Tuesday by Governor Gavin Newsom. Today we need your help. We need your help to ensure that these farms and communities get the immediate relief they need to recover and we need policymakers to make water inf infrastructure an immediate investment and a top priority. Before they say the same thing happens again. Investments in the region including more reservoirs, levee systems, water conveyance infrastructure, groundwater and aquifer recharge, recycling and reuse of water. And again, that was Myra Franco reporting. Congressman David Valadeo says that he won't know for about a week and a half whether that declaration is granted, but he does say that agencies like FEMA, as well as the National Guard, are preparing equipment and assessing areas around the valley to be ready to respond if needed. They say their biggest concern now, of course, is that snowpack melt. Want to see more stories like this? Watch Great Day weekday mornings from 5 to 10 and Fox 26 News at 10.